Welcome to episode 170 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're talking about how what you don't know might just make you better. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. (laughs) Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, things are feeling different today. I'm feeling a little different. I have a white t-shirt on. I only wear white t-shirts in the summer or when it's nice out for some reason. I don't know. I'm sure I have a condition, but if you're watching, you also notice the look is different. Uh, I have the window open instead of that, you know, darkened, dramatic lighting scenario. I have some soft light and it's feeling lighter and fresher. And maybe that's just indicative of the fact that it is 70 degrees and sunny in Syracuse. And everybody feels good when it's 70 degrees and sunny in Syracuse. And what I wanted to talk through today is a little bit of a realization that I had this week as I was at a meeting just yesterday, a kickoff meeting, a mobilization meeting for the property that I bought almost a year and a half, almost a year, maybe closer to probably a year and a half ago. And it bought it with the intention to redevelop into a studio space, you know, like photo video studios and office space and a great place for congruent my agency to live and make things and serve clients. And then a lot of things happened, right? A lot of things happened. And then COVID and then this and this and this. And yesterday, we finally, finally had our kickoff meeting after we fought hard to get the property and we fought hard to get the financing and then COVID hit and the financing fell through because they stopped lending, and then we got another bank, and we fought hard to get financed, and we got financed, and we had to cut the construction budget back because um, assessments were different, and on and on and on and on, and finally, we closed on the construction loan. We have a plan. We have things locked in, and on Monday, so actually yesterday, if you're watching this on Tuesday when it's released, demolition has begun on the new property so that we can redevelop it into something different, and I was in my phone and I needed to see what day of the week something was two years ago. And so I pulled up my phone and I was looking at the date and two years ago to the day when I was looking at that, which was just, you know, just the other day, two years ago, there was a little note that said, go look at properties. And I realized that was the first day Sarah, my wife and I went out with the realtor to start looking at commercial properties all over this area. And I was like, Oh my gosh, two years ago. I remember when we started looking, we were like, we need to be in a spot in six to nine months so that we can we can do what we need to do. And then after one situation after another situation happened. First, we looked at a lot of properties, put an offer in. It looked like it was going to happen. The inspection didn't really work out and the, the seller wasn't willing to make a concession. So we were like, we're done with that one. And then we kept looking. And then, like I just said, all those things kept happening. And in every single scenario, I was just, you know, there's this level of discouragement that, you know, starts to set in. It happens whenever, you know, we have our heart set on an initiative and we have a plan and a trajectory and a desire to go do something and then setback, setback, roadblock, fork in the road, something changed, you changed, whatever, those things happen. And they're all things that we didn't know were going to happen. They're all surprises. After seeing that that you know that calendar date two years ago, I realized how many surprises there were between now when we're just starting construction and we won't be finished for another six to seven months. So by the time construction's done, we're going to be almost three years out from when we started to look. And had I known that at the beginning of the project, I would have been extremely discouraged. I would have been extremely likely to just back off it altogether because all the things I didn't know were about to happen. And in life... All the things that you don't know are about to happen are actually about to happen. And I think there's an element of grace in that because if we knew what it would really take to get to the end, it might be so discouraging that we didn't, we wouldn't start. I mean, this applies to a lot of things, starting a new initiative, starting a business, building something, right? Raising a family, having kids. If we would know all that it would take, there's a high likelihood we wouldn't even start. And so I think that all the things that we don't know, the things that we don't know are actually likely the things that are going to make us better and stronger 
and more capable and more fulfilled. Because when we don't know they're going to happen, we just start moving. And as we start moving, we're able to develop into the person that can handle those things. And then as we handle those things, we develop into the person that can handle more things and heavier things and more important things. That's why when you see people that have had experience, have you noticed that they don't seem phased by a lot of the things the people that have less experience are phased by? And you can't read that in a book. You can't learn that by somebody else telling you. You can only experience that by experiencing it. How many things and how many times in your life have you walked through something and said, man, I would never want to walk through that again, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. I can say that a whole lot about my life. I can say that a whole lot about the struggles and the trials and the pain and the friction that has happened because I can't unlearn those things now. And, and actually, I have a well to draw on. I have scars. I have wrinkles, right? Man, I got, I'm, I got the wrinkles going on. I got the smile lines going on. 42, man, I'm getting there. Starting to see, you know, the, the sun spots and the, and the sore muscles. And I wake up and start working out a little bit. And you realize like, man, that's just, I don't recover like I used to. <laughs> and you know what? It's okay because I have the experience. And I just, you know, mentioned a bunch of physical things. But the truth is, the real valuable ones are the relational things, are the leadership things, the things that hurt. They say never trust a leader that doesn't have a limp, right? Never trust somebody with investment advice that has never lost money. Never trust business advice from someone who's never done it. It's just theory to them. And you know what it is like everybody says, in theory, in theory, it should work. Well, the people who in theory it that don't say in theory, well, they don't understand that theory is one thing, doing is another thing. You know, Mike Tyson, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. You know, the fighters that'll really teach you how to fight are the ones that have been punched in the face. And so as I'm walking through that, I just wanted to share that with you because it encouraged me this week, just in that realization as we started this redevelopment project of all the things that I didn't know actually are the very things that made me stronger. And all the things that you don't know are the things that are going to make you stronger. So keep your head up and keep leaning into them because the experience you're going to gain from them are going to be the things that, let's face it, you're not going to want to have trade. You're not going to want to trade for anything. So I'm going to be sharing with you more about this redevelopment project as it goes along. I'm excited to do that. I haven't talked about it a lot because I don't like talking about things until I know they're going to happen. Now I know what's going to happen, so uh, we'll be talking about that, and you can follow along on that journey for the next six months. I'm excited to share it, but today here we are, and I'm excited to share this moment with you. I also want to mention uh, we're doing a meetup, an in-person physical meetup in Tampa, Florida on June 8th, and if you're going to be in Tampa on June 8th, I'm giving a keynote at Digital Dealer, a conference, but that evening we have a venue doing a, a meet and greet. Uh, we're selling tickets. We have food and drinks and special guests and swag and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're going to be in Tampa in that or you're near Tampa, I would love to meet you in person. I'm going to put a link in the email or a link in the copy so that you know where to get tickets because um, it's a ticket tailor link. But uh, you can check out the link and I hope you can meet me there. Aside from that, thanks for spending some time with me. I hope you have an amazing week and I hope you keep pursuing that perspective, pursuing that clarity. Until then, I'm going to go see what I don't know. History's made in the moments. Heroes collide. It's all on the line with our backs against the wall. We came to fight.